What's yellow and black and green and yellow all over? Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. The first thing I need to do is cut these two 10 foot long boards down to manageable lengths. By ripping all these boards to seven inches wide, I'm also squaring off the rounded edges. Since the tabletop starts out as an octagon, I need to cut all of the miters at 22 and a half degrees. Cutting these on my miter saw, then I'll try to get more accurate miters using my table saw. I think I'll be able to get much more accurate cuts using this brand new miter gauge that a viewer sent me. It looks like they're gonna fit together really nicely. Now I need to cut out a rabbit on the inside edge of each board. I'll join the octagon together using pocket screws. I'm gonna glue and screw these all together. These are one by fours that I'm ripping down to three inches wide. I'm gonna screw all of these boards in from underneath, no glue. And I'm gonna start with this center board and work my way to the sides, cutting each board to size. I've clamped the board into place along that rabbit and I should hold it so I can put the screws in. I can slide it over and do the same on this side. The rest of them I'm going to space using this quarter inch piece of plywood. Pro tip, I discovered it's important to put a pilot hole through this three quarter inch board or it'll split. This board is going to need this corner cut off, and that is a 45 degree angle. Well, after a lot of trimming and testing and testing and trimming, <laughs> I finally got it to fit just right. All these edge boards are a little easier. They just have 45 degree angles on both sides. I spent a lot of time sanding this to level out any of the uneven surfaces. I'll probably still come back to it and do some finer sanding once it's all assembled. Here I'm finding the center point and drawing a circle. I'm building the entire base and legs out of two by fours. I'm cutting all of my pieces to their exact dimensions using my table saw. I'm gonna join all of the center pieces together using half lap joints. And all that means is I'm gonna cut out a large notch, half the thickness of the wood in each piece. I can make sure it's centered by flipping the board end to end and using only one stop block as a reference. Those two notches just interlock. Without changing my blades, I can cut rabbits in the ends of the top boards. I'll start the assembly by gluing these cross pieces together. And I'm also putting some screws in. I just don't want to put any screws in the middle where I need to drill a hole for the umbrella. To assemble the base, I'm going to start by attaching the legs to the lower cross brace. I decided this needed some clamping pressure also to help draw these joints together. This cross brace drops down into these rabbits.
These one and a half inch diameter holes are for the umbrella. The idea here is that the table top will rest on this rabbit rather than on these thinner slats. The way that fits in there, I don't really even need to attach the top, but I'm gonna put one screw in each leg just to make it easier to move around. I'm using my router to round over the top edge. I'm finishing this with an exterior water-based spar urethane. I think three coats of that spar urethane is really gonna protect this redwood from the weather. If you'd like to make your own patio table, check down in the description for a free set of plans. And if this is your first time here to Woodworking for Mere Mortals, welcome. You should know that I post brand new woodworking videos every Friday, and I'd love to have you subscribe. And hey, if you're a mere mortal and would like to be in one of my videos, please click on my most recent Mere Minutes video to learn how, just like Liz did. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm a Mimo from New Zealand.